Hello, everybody, and welcome to your linear algebra review on vector addition and scalar multiplication. My name is Jason, and I work for the ASU Tutoring Centers. Now, vectors, in reality, are just matrices, right? They're, they have rows. The only thing is they only have one column. That's what makes a vector a vector. They're matrices with one column. But because they're essentially matrices, all the same rules that apply to matrices apply to vectors. So when you add two vectors together, you add them component-wise. When you, when you multiply a vector by a scalar, you multiply that scalar into every component of the vector. So all of the stuff that we have learned thus far about matrices applies to vectors. Um, the reason that we have this video detailing vector addition and scalar multiplication in particular is because in the future, we're going to have some non-standard addition and scalar multiplication, right? The addition that we're so used to is, is we just add straight across, right? If my vector is v1, v2, v3, plus the vector u1, u2, u3, when I add them, I get v1 plus u1, v2 plus u2, and v3 plus u3. But this isn't the only way to quote unquote add two vectors together. There's tons of different ways. You can make your own. There's just some rules that have to be applied when doing so. So we're going to show an example in this problem of using standard addition and scalar multiplication, the usual ones that you see all the time. But in future videos, we're going to talk about some non-standard addition and scalar multiplication. OK, so let's, let's do these calculations then. So if we're trying to do vector 1 plus vector 2, these vectors are 1, 3, negative 2 plus 6, 0, 2. So again, we just add component-wise. So we add the first two component, the first components together the second components together, and the third components together, giving us the vector 7, 3, 0. So that's how you do part A. Um, let's look at part B. I'll do it up here. Doing alpha times V2. Alpha is negative 3, and my vector V2 is 6, 0, 2. And again, we just multiply by each component. So I multiply negative 3 times 6 to give me negative 18. Negative 3 times 0 to give me 0 and negative three times two to give me negative six. So my vector is negative 18, zero, negative six. Wonderful. Uh, going on to part C, I am now subtracting two vectors. So you can think about doing this in two steps. You can think about um, doing the scalar multiplication of this negative one first, and then adding those vectors together. Or you can just think about like doing the subtraction component wise. Right, so I would have 6 minus 1, 0 minus 3, 2 minus negative 2, which gives me 5, negative 3, 4. So you can do it in two steps as scalar multiplication by negative 1 and then vector addition, or you can just do the subtraction component wise. And the last one, part D, so I'm multiplying alpha v1 plus beta v2. So I have negative 3 times the vector 1, 3, negative 2, um, plus 1 half times the vector 6, 0, 2. So first, I'm going to do my scalar multiplications. So doing the scalar multiplication for this first one gives me negative 3, negative 9, 6. And doing the scalar multiplication for the second one gives me 3, 0, 1. And then I add them component-wise, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Negative 9 plus 0 is negative 9, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So that's my answer to part D. So again, all the, the same rules that we've been working with with matrices apply to vectors. All right. Uh, well, thank you for watching. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I work for the ASU Tutoring Centers. If you want more information about the free resources we offer on all four major ASU campuses and online, please check out tutoring.asu.edu. If you want more videos like this one that go over specific concepts in your course, or maybe you want to see what upcoming review sessions we have for the exams in your course, go ahead and check out this link below. Thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.